The Royal Australian Air Force has steadily strengthened its maritime patrol capabilities through the acquisition and modernization of the Boeing P-8A Poseidon fleet. These advanced aircraft form a crucial part of Australia's modern warfare doctrine, providing the nation with a formidable platform for anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. Australia's journey with the P-8A began in 2007 when the aircraft was selected to replace the aging Lockheed AP-3C Orion fleet. The transition was solidified in 2009 and by October 2012, Australia formalized its participation in the program with a $73.9 million agreement with the United States Navy. The initial order included eight P-8As with options for four more. By 2014, Prime Minister Tony Abbott confirmed the acquisition of eight aircraft, with delivery expected from 2017. The RF received its first P-8A on the 27th of September 2016, which arrived in Australia on the 14th of November of that year. By December 2019, the fleet had grown to 12 operational Poseidons. Further expanding its capabilities, the Australian government approved the purchase of two additional P-8As in December 2020, with deliveries scheduled for 2024 and 2025. While the option for a 15th aircraft remains unconfirmed, the current fleet size stands at 14 ordered Poseidons. In terms of operational history, the RAF P-8As have actively participated in both domestic and international missions. The aircraft are central to Operation Gateway, Australia's ongoing commitment to regional maritime surveillance, particularly in Southeast Asia. A high-profile incident in May 2022 underscored the risks associated with these missions, when a Chinese J-16 fighter dangerously intercepted RAF P-8A, deploying flares and chaff, one of which was ingested into the Poseidon's engine. Beyond routine patrols, the P-8As have played critical roles in multinational exercises. In 2024, the RF Poseidons took part in the Rim of the Pacific exercise, the world's largest international maritime warfare drill. During RIMPAC, an RF P-8A successfully dropped four Mark 54 lightweight exercise torpedoes on a simulated submarine target, collaborating with a U.S. Navy P-8A and an MQ-9A unmanned aerial vehicle. This exercise not only showcased the Poseidon's interoperability with Allied forces, but also validated its attack and surveillance capabilities in complex maritime environments. Recent upgrades are set to further enhance the fleet's combat effectiveness. In April 2024, Boeing Defense Australia secured a $139.5 million Australian dollars contract to implement Increment 3 Block 2 upgrades. These improvements focus on bolstering anti-submarine warfare, maritime strike, and ISR capabilities through advanced software, sensors, and systems. The upgrade process will commence in September 2026, with the first two aircraft modified in Jacksonville, Florida, and subsequent upgrades carried out at RF Base Edinburgh in South Australia. Over 300,000 hours of maintenance work are planned over the next four years, with each aircraft taking approximately 7.5 months to complete. The Increment 3 Block 2 upgrade will introduce cutting-edge radar technology, enhancing the P-8A's ability to detect stealthy submarines and surface vessels over long distances. Additionally, the aircraft will receive improved electronic warfare suites, boosting its survivability in contested environments. These upgrades align with Australia's strategic goal of maintaining a technological edge in maritime operations, ensuring the Poseidon remains a credible deterrent against potential adversaries. The P-8A's role in modern warfare doctrine cannot be overstated. Equipped with cutting-edge radar and sonar systems, it can deploy torpedoes, harpoon anti-ship missiles, and sonobuoys, working alongside unmanned systems like the MQ-4C Triton. This interoperability allows the RF to conduct extensive maritime domain awareness operations and engage both surface and subsurface threats with precision. The ability to integrate with allied forces, including the US Navy and other Indo-Pacific partners, further strengthens regional security cooperation. 
When compared to regional counterparts, the RAF's P-8A fleet holds its own. India operates a fleet of P-8Is, customized for its specific needs, while the United Kingdom, Norway, and New Zealand have also adopted the Poseidon platform. China, meanwhile, relies on its domestically produced Shanxi Y8, Y8, and Y9 aircraft for maritime patrol duties, although these platforms are generally considered less sophisticated than the P-8A. With its advanced capabilities and ongoing upgrades, Australia's Poseidon fleet positions the nation as a dominant maritime force in the Indo-Pacific. Furthermore, Australia's P-8A fleet benefits from robust logistical and maintenance support, thanks to a close partnership with Boeing Defence Australia and the United States Navy. RAF Base Edinburgh serves as the central hub for Poseidon operations, housing specialized facilities for training, maintenance, and mission planning. The base also works closely with the Defence Science and Technology Group to explore future innovations in maritime surveillance and combat systems. Australia's investment in the P-8A Poseidon not only reinforces its maritime surveillance and strike capabilities, but also aligns with its broader defense strategy of maintaining regional stability and responding to emerging threats. As the RAF continues to modernize its fleet and strengthen its partnerships with allies like the United States, the Poseidon remains at the heart of Australia's efforts to secure its maritime interests. Looking ahead, the P-8A's versatility and continuous upgrades will keep it relevant in an era of evolving threats. With tensions rising in the Indo-Pacific, Australia's Poseidon fleet provides a crucial strategic advantage, ensuring the nation can detect, deter, and defeat maritime threats with cutting-edge technology and unwavering resolve. The strategic importance of the Poseidon is amplified by its ability to work in tandem with Australia's future fleet of MQ-4C Triton UAVs. These high-altitude, long-endurance drones will extend Australia's surveillance reach, enabling real-time data sharing between manned and unmanned platforms. This networked approach will enhance situational awareness and accelerate response times in the event of a maritime threat. Australia's P-8As also support search and rescue, SAR missions, humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief operations, showcasing their versatility beyond combat roles. Their advanced sensors can detect vessels in distress, while their communication systems allow rapid coordination with naval and civilian rescue teams. This dual-purpose functionality reinforces the Poseidon's value as both a wartime asset and a peacetime resource. Ultimately, the Royal Australian Air Force's P-8A Poseidon fleet is more than just a collection of aircraft. It is a cornerstone of Australia's maritime security strategy. With ongoing upgrades, strong international partnerships, and cutting-edge technology, the Poseidon ensures Australia remains a formidable force in the Indo-Pacific, ready to safeguard its waters and support its allies in an increasingly complex and contested region.